guys, I'm back with a mini project of sorts. I'm here at our family vacation home in Utah, which I'm sure I've mentioned before, and if you watched my Loftus video from earlier in the year or last year, I don't remember exactly when that went up, but um, you know all about it. Uh, and my husband and I have a room here that's our room and a bathroom, and over the past six months, I've been here a couple of times. I've been working on organizing it and tidying it up a bit, and I finally completed that project, so I thought I would share um, our bathroom organization at our Utah house here with you, and it's particularly because it's a much smaller bathroom than our bathroom at home. Our master bathroom at home is very large in comparison. Um, so it gives you a different look at, at organizing a smaller space in terms of bathroom organization. And I just thought maybe you guys would be interested to see how I keep it. So um, here we go. Hey guys, so I'm just going to give you a tour of our bathroom here in the vacation home in Utah. It's a smaller bathroom than we have at home. And so it took different organization, and I thought you guys might just want to see. I worked on it a bit, uh, and I thought I'd show you. So first of all, the countertop didn't change that much. Um, I'm still kind of dreaming up a way to um, organize countertop things like this. I have to be plugged in. Like this is my Clarisonic face brush, and then my water pick and then our electronic toothbrush. And I have an idea of something I could maybe make to get like a power strip on the bottom and then it would hold all these things and kind of conceal all the cords um, so it wouldn't be so um, bulky, but I haven't quite done that yet. I have this little countertop um, container that I got at Bed Bath & Beyond earlier this year that holds face cottons in one side and um, Q-tips in the other. That goes to the toothbrush, it's a timer, and our hand soap. And then over here, so at home we have two sinks. So here we have one. And Don's sink is on the left and my sink is on the right. So that is how I kind of organized our thing. So Don's things are on the left and my things are mostly on the right, although some of my things are on the left too. But um, I have all of my face products out just because I do not have the space. I don't have enough drawers here to, to put them in a drawer like I do at home. So I have them in this little catch-all basket, which was also from Bed Bath & Beyond. And I have a, a washcloth under it because sometimes, you know, with face wash and stuff, it can get a little bit drippy. Um, and I put that all away every time we go home. Um, but I just, you know, it's it's just kind of corralled on the sink. And it's not taking up too much room. Um, and it's just so much easier than trying to cram a whole bunch of things into one drawer. So that's why I decided to have it out. But I like having this little um, carry uh, catch-all place for it. Then we have a uh, bobble water pitcher uh, filter. And on the end here, this I took... Uh, I took a little bit out of this area. Um, there was a bin with some magazines and stuff. I kind of wanted to make this less cluttered, so I just have the tissues, a little jewelry dish, and then this is a Hugo Ascent, uh, Natural Essential Mist. You know, sharing the bathroom with a man <laughs> need not say anymore. But I actually, this is one of the things I added just today. This is from the Martha Stewart collection at um, Staples, and it's just a wall hanging or a wall mounted. Um, file hanger and it's actually just push pins um, that I hammered into the side of the cabinet here. They leave a very small hole so I figured that wasn't too big of a deal. And that we can put magazines in. We have a little trash can there and um, the toilet roll thing has never been mounted so I just assumed I was supposed to leave it just like that so that's why it's over there. Um, and then this I had actually done this earlier this year, this spring. These little there's this little area between the top of the toilet and the counter um, that was just dead space, so I decided to um, use little containers, because you guys know I like everything uh, in containers. So um, I got these from Target in um, spring, and this one has my feminine products in it, and this one has an extra roll of toilet paper, as well as some other, you know, toilet-related things. I don't feel the need to share all of that, um, but it just, you know, it doesn't look terribly bad or cluttered or anything in that 
that makes it just easier to have those things um, closer at your fingertips in case you need them. Uh, so then I guess I'll take you into the drawers here, and this is where I did the most work this trip. So like I said, on the left side is Dawn's drawer, so I had bought these little um, containers, drawer dividers really, in the kitchen center uh, section at Target. So I like took my measurements with me to the store, and these fit like a glove. I mean, they are really, really secure in there, and they take up the whole space of the drawer. So that was a really lucky find, especially since there's no container store here, so I don't have as many options, but these fit really well. So I just have the three little uh, drawer dividers in here, and so in the first one is most used products, and our toothpaste, and then, you know, kind of getting less and less used as we go back further into the drawer, shaving, um, and then his contact stuff, which he does not wear all the time. The second drawer is for both of us, really, and it is medical slash miscellaneous and backup products. So on the front here, we have sunscreen and just, you know, uh, after sun uh, tan lotion in case you get a little burnt or something, some Advil, an extra one of Dawn's soaps, his backup razor cartridges, I would have mine in here too, and then extra um, chapsticks for Dawn because he goes through chapstick a lot here because it's so dry. And then this is sort of the medical area. We have hydrogen peroxide, tons, Mylax, a bunch of lozenges, a um, whole different uh, selection of band-aids, waterproof um, tape, and then cortisone cream. So you can see that's this is a deeper drawer. So I basically I bought another one of those um, drawer dividers that I have in the top drawer. But then I had bought this little basket also from the kitchen sec uh, section of Target, and that fits really nice in there too. Now the bottom drawer is my hair drawer <laughs> um, because the, I mean people sometimes get upset. They think that Don doesn't have a lot of space in, you know, the bathroom or whatever, but this is all of his products. Like, if he had more products, then I would gladly make room for him, but he's not, um, you know, a high-maintenance kind of man. Um, so I have my blow dryer and a curling iron, and then I have these sorts of things um, at our house at home to organize hair stuff. Uh, actually, a lot of them in this size. You can see I got these at the container store and brought them with me. Um, different hair ties and hair clips and such. And then I bought these smaller sizes for um, other hair bands and accessories. And I just keep them on their side in this drawer like this, and it's just really easy to get to them. And then I have two more of these um, little dividers, and I'll pull this one out. This one I just kind of have wedged up on the top here. It just because I, you have to kind of squeeze them to fit them in, it worked that I could stack them on top of each other. So on the bottom one, I have hair products and a miscellaneous thing I don't use very often out here, hairspray, and this is like a blow dry lotion, like a heat protectant. And then I have a static guard, which is just kind of a random thing to have, but it's very dry out here, so I do use it occasionally. And I usually do this with two hands. Um, there we go. Uh, this is, and then you can see I just kind of wedged that in the top. These are the hair products I use more often. The Alterna Hemp Organics Thickening Compound. No Drought Dry Shampoo from Lush. This is R&B Leave-In Conditioner from Lush. And this is a hair uh, oil treatment I'm testing out. So that is sort of my hair care drawer. And then on my side of the sink, the right side, this top drawer um, is dedicated to my most used products that aren't out on the counter like you saw. So, this I already had organized like this. I did this in April when I was here this past April, this spring. Um, so, I had bought these little drawer dividers from the kitchen section of Bed Bath & Beyond because I would have liked to have, you know, the ones like Dawn has because I just think it's a nicer look and, and it just, it's more, it fits better. But my hairbrushes don't fit that way and I wanted to be able to fit them in. Um, you know, whatever organizational system I chose for my drawer, so that's why it ended up like this. So I have two of these longer sizes and then two of the smaller sizes in the back. Um, so I have um, tooth care stuff in the back and sort of miscellaneous things, scissors and extra um, moisturizer and stuff like that. And then in the front one I have, you know, my brushes, all my different combs, some clips that I use, I'll frequently, and then all lip products. I have a lot of lip products, and this one's a face mask. And then I also have some face masks 
I brought to test out. Um, and then my two deodorants just kind of fit in the side here and my face wipes. And I always keep anything wipe related in a Ziploc bag out here because it's so dry. Things can dry out really fast, but if you keep them in a Ziploc bag, they stay nice and um, moist. So that's my main drawer. And then I worked a lot on the cabinets as well this trip. Um, so we have radiant floor heating, which means that the heat comes up from pipes underneath the floor, and that's how we heat the house, um, which is really nice, uh, but it also means that anything I keep on the lower level in this bathroom is going to get kind of hot. So I had to keep that in mind when organizing. Um, so I had this little bin up there. I think I described that before. It had mag the magazines and things in it. But I just dedicated it to my washcloths. I use a washcloth every day for washing my face. Um, and then, so these bins, I already had this little one. This is from Bed Bath & Beyond, but then I bought two of these medium-sized ones um, because they fit just really well in these really deep, long cabinets. And I left the tags on so I'd be able to share with you what they are. They're the Studio 3B Medium Grommet Totes from Bath, Bed Bath & Beyond, and this is, would be the small grommet tote. So this one has um, jewelry cleaning and makeup brush cleaning things in it. And this is the little uh, cosmetic case that I keep out here. And that's what I put all of my skincare products that are out on the counter right now in when we leave. And then I will put this up in the upper drawer so it doesn't get too hot. Um, and this went to my shower cap, um, which I also put away. Because once a year, we um, the family holds a retreat here for um, ch the, our church at home and I will put all of my things away at that point um, so I'll even put away my shower cap and stuff like that so I just saved the packaging um, but you can see it just it fits so nicely back there and this fits nicely right in front of it then the things over here are my more frequently used things while I'm here so the um, products I'm using currently in terms of lotions I use go through a lot of lotion out here because it's so dry so I've got moist uh, body cream and body butters and then I have a face mask I do twice a week and my eye makeup removers and then I have another one of those medium grommet totes from Bed Bath & Beyond and this one has all of the bath uh, or excuse me the shower and body lotion products that I'm not using currently and they're just in my stash they're just um, you know spring or summer scents right now because I have the fall winter ones in and then I have a little Tupperware bin with um, extra soap and this looks like an extra hand and soap lotion kind of thing um, so I don't need to access that when I only need to access that if I'm going to switch out products so I don't mind having loose things in front of it if you know what I mean this is our under the sink cabinet here in our bathroom and this I did work on quite a bit this trip as well um, you can see we have a big humidifier back there we use that when we're here over the holidays because that's when it's really dry um, so I just have that in the back there but it's easy to access so when we pull it out we leave it out you know when we're here during the holidays we'll just leave it out and then the toilet paper would come down to where it is now but I just keep it stacked on top of there because you know that's not something we use every time we're here so it's not a big deal I have our Listerine there and then there's backup Kleenex in the back I have some cleaning products um, that I purchased just to keep in my bathroom because I like to clean spot clean my bathroom really almost every day and my uh, so I have the um, wait a mirror cleaner I like by method glass and surface and a little cloth I don't know what happened to my counter cloth oh that's right I clean so it's dirty and I have to wash it but this is the Mrs. Myers clean day geranium scent um, counter stop ray to spray to um, wash the or excuse me, clean up the counters. I added these little 3M uh, command hooks. They're just adhesive hooks. And I put my shower cap on one and the little mirror I use to look at the back of my head <laughs> on the other. Any other female will know about that. And then I got two more of these little white baskets from Target. I, if you remember, I showed you the one in our medicine drawer that's kind of corralling all of our medical products. Well, these, these are the larger size. Um, they were also in the kitchen section and and these have extraneous products in them um, and they uh, stack so this little part like flips down and they stack and I left the tags on yes they're by the room essentials organized brand and it's the medium stacking basket and they're by Sterlite 
Um, so in the bottom one here, I've got the light bulbs for my bathroom, as well as some an extra night light and an extra outlet-y thing, and some extra baby wipes, because I use those for makeup and for Winnie. And then I have a Ziploc bag with all of the manuals that go to all of the appliances I have in our bathroom, and I just keep that in there. And then behind that, I have, um, a, like a bunch of, um, Target bags, like shopping bags, because that's what I use to replace the trash bag in our little trash can in here. And then in this one, which stacks on top, I have extra loofahs and Q-tips and um, face cottons, extra fem feminine products. And then these things on top here, um, this is a Spectra 360 Electro Gel and then my heart rate monitor and Garmin watch for running. So I use, I run um, five days a week so I just keep those here when I'm here um, just for easy access but these things actually come home with me. So I think it's a much nicer um, effect now that I've kind of tidied up and organized and I did a whole bunch of cleaning at the same time. I don't think anybody had cleaned under there in a very long time. Um, also while I was working on organizing my bathroom I bought a new uh, this is like a memory foam bath mat which is really nice. I got that at Target. Um, and I thought I should just show you the things, other organizational components I have in here, specifically for the wall. Um, just some hooks. This is a, like a spa wrap. It has my name on it. It's from Glitzy Glam. Um, that I use when we have a hot tub here when I go out in the hot tub. This is a, a hair towel. You know, it's like a, a wrap towel for your hair. And then we had a, um, you know, a traditional towel rack up. But then I had my father-in-law put in these hooks, and we still have to patch up the wall a bit. But uh, I bought these hooks because we have gold, obviously gold accents in this bathroom. Gold hardware, the gold shower. So we got gold hooks, and I just prefer having my towels hanging on hooks. I think it looks nice. I mean, it does, and it, they just dry a lot easier that way. So I've got Dawn's towel, our hand towel, um, my, my head... Uh, headband for when I wash my face in the morning and at night and then my towel and then we have a bath mat that we just hang over the shower like here like so I don't like to leave it out and then I just thought I should probably take you into my shower show you how I organized that because I did that earlier this year as well this spring we used to have everything on the ledge here and it was just like too much going on and the shower would drip on it and everything would get kind of like scuzzy so I wanted to get a um shower rack is that what that's called but it's really it was really hard to find one um that would fit in this kind of really tight area because between this shower head and the um what do we you know handle the water thingy uh, it's just not a lot of space but i think i'm pretty sure i got this at target um, and i liked it because it was brown and kind of goes with the brown, gold, navy, beige look of our bathroom. Um, so you can see I've got all my shower gels and um, body scrubs and face stuff on it. This is basically for all my products because I have a ton of products. And then um, some other lush things there. And then if I, I couldn't fit everything on there. It would be really nice if you know we could get like shelves mounted or something but I mean, it's not my house so I don't want to drill into their tile <laughs> um, so I just have a couple things in the corner to kind of um, push them to the corner so I have my hair stuff and shaving cream and then Don's um, hair stuff and his bar of soap usually goes in there but looks like I need to replace that and I liked this because I could hang my loofah and my comb and my back scrubber thing and my razor off of it which was really nice and that's basically it for our uh, bathroom organization and the whole mini bathroom tour out here in our Utah house. Uh, I really like the um, change, the changes that I've made over the past six months. I think, you know, it's it's just a lot neater looking and um, easier to navigate. Well, that was that was everything, as you can see. Um, I think it turned out really nice. I've been enjoying it and uh, it was not a hard or expensive project to complete. I purchased most of the things between Bed Bath & Beyond and Target. Um, so pretty available local kinds of places in the states here. But you just gotta work with the space you have. Um, always go prepared 
to the store with your measurements of your uh, the interior of your drawers, the not only the length and the width, but also the height of each drawer, uh, as well as your under the cabinet space, so you don't have any surprises. Particularly, for instance, if you're someone like me out here, where it's a good. 30 to 40 minutes drive to get to any of those stores to return or exchange things so I don't want to have to make more trips than necessary um, but I'm really pleased with how it came out and I think it's very functional um, so there you have it and um, I hope to be back with a um, Organized Like Jen 2 year anniversary contest and giveaway announcement as the next video so stay tuned for that thanks for watching and take care Bye.